Well, welcome back to Crowswood Model Railway. Uh, why has it been so long since my last video? Well, short answer is life. Um, life finds a way of getting involved when you don't want it to, or of screwing you over. But um, regardless, I thought I'd better get in back into the swing of making a videos. It, once a week, once a fortnight, when I've got a bit of time. Because uh, I'm a I've got uh, well, a little bit busy over the Christmas period. Uh, mostly because I will be and am volunteering at the local heritage railway. So, gets me out of the house. Even if it's really cold outside, really cold. Um, but, uh, I guess a little update on what's happened on the line or around the railway. Um, so, let's get into it, I guess. Uh, she's currently in that shed, but I have purchased the Blackman H2 Atlantic in the olive green. Um, slightly annoyingly, they went on sale about two three days after I received mine on uh, the Black Friday sales, so £120 I think they were on the, at the model centre instead of I paid 150 I think for that one um, but I have got the general arrangement of the bigger loco depot set up I've got a shed which has my two Brighton engines the E4 and the H2 I've then got another shed which the radio tank goes in at the moment it's posed as if getting ready to run got sidings for the goods engines and I've got refueling siding which has the merchant navy and then oh, around here it's not been too much change well I now do have a full wagon of beer which is always a good thing Some more vehicles that have been added. There's some tanks and or general. There's a new arrangement here. Uh, a little I'm toying with a new arrangement here. I'm not sure exactly how it's going, but I kind of like how it is at the moment. I did have a manor house here, but I've sort of changed it for a double AA gun position. I've sort of changed the hustle and bustle around that Messer Schmidt. Some more road vehicles. And this area is new. I'm thinking of putting some more trees in here. I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, I've got things like this foxes chasing down a hare, pincer maneuver. There's a rabbit there chilling, there's a couple of boxing hares there. Some there was another war memorial. People watching the trains go past. No, there's a Backman Class 5 and a Hornby 08, which is a little bit growly, so I might need to put some fresh grease in her. That carries on around here. So, this area is sort of scenic up now. Um, the station position is the best compromise of close to coaches yet far enough apart where I can crop or I can have something go along in this uh, crossing junction crossover I say crossover um, don't think I can get a mark three in there but a mark two will squeeze in there as will my uh, Class 57, which is one of my big diesels, so that's a good sign. Uh, there's some more people. I've got on off my old plastic Hornby um, platforms I was using before. Uh, 
some more trees as well. I really like these blossom trees. And on the blossom trees, no idea where they're going yet, but I have got some Sakura trees that come from China and a big bag of lichen. The lichen spot over there is making it look a bit overgrown, overgrown in wartime. Uh, so it's these second hand trees I've had for a while. Um, but these I might not use on this layout. I might make a Japanese themed mini layout for them. But so along this section, I'm going to have loads of trees. So it might be an idea to put some of them there with the, some of the other trees that are going up there. And then back within them, there's a sort of pillbox, so there's an officer there pointing, shouting, like officers usually do. And there's a class 5. There's a stunning engine. And the 08 is just coming up this section as well. I can't believe how much these are now. That one was £75 about a year ago. Second hand, but still, new prices are insane on these. It's so only a little 060 diesel. Come on. Some new freight wagons as well, like that LMS meat one, and then. Not what bright banana wagon, banana van rather, and it's a great western banana van as well. So, there's some new, new freight bits, new bit of loco storage, or it's not just loco storage at the moment. Uh, various paints for a model I have built of IJN Taiho, so I can then put her together properly uh, when I feel like my coordination's up for painting. There's a Mark II, so I know where they fit around there to run with some of my diesels, like my 57, my 37. 68 looks good with them as well. And then there's a calendar for next year, came with the Hornby magazine. So, and then the next place is, and this is the King Arthur shed. Shed, sheds. Um, I pre-ordered a backwind water pump and austerity, the khaki green one, that was built in 1943, which will be going this side in. In the meantime, there is 742, 750, we do need a bit of a dust, they've been sat out here for a while. So that is Morgan Le Fay, and that's the Camelot. Morgan Le Fay is a renamed, renumbered Camelot model. Absolutely stunning as the King Arthur's are. They do need a dust, they've been sat sort of out proudly instead of being in the shed. So it's, uh, I'm pretty sure the market is new. There's a second hand from Fox Order Railway, so. There's some pretty good bargains in there. There's a bloke on a bike. Uh, I've sort of finally gone around to creating a boundary, although it's just hedgerow between well, sort of the people and the railway. There goes the 08 again. The 08's at 50%, the class 5 is at, at 45 the 08 is a fantastic slow runner, especially if you want to do an industrial thing. It's more books and just more cardboard making things. Uh, some more walling. Again, keep these people away from the railway. And go up. There's some more hedgerow separating. Um, there's a very naughty young lad who's a bit close, but 
fortunately there's no expressors at the moment so he's not in any real trouble. It's more classic cars that I put on motor rail things behind some of my diesels. Well, these two are HO scale so they'll be going on a HO mini layout if I decide to build one. Uh, signal, some more signals. They've been obvious, probably been obvious but um, their positioning is because I can fit five coaches here, but a big locomotive like a Merchant Navy 57 or the 68, they will overhang quite heavily. So it's just so it's curious so the driver can still see and have all coaches. Five bullies or five morsels can get in here, no problem. Any more than that is a little bit hairy. Um, and I think that's it really. And so adjusting what cars go where. Um, I do have something special to pick up next week. So I'll, I'll make, try and make a video on that. But in the meantime, I think that's it. It's mainly just a very quick, well, 11 minute. This is what I've done, this is what I've done, what I've done. Me rambling like normal, the usual ramble. Um, but I may have been less distracted, I hope, than normal. Hopefully I can start making videos more regularly as well. So all the buildings that lay out have now been gotten built. It's just the scenery, although that area will be a pain. Because in my eternal wisdom, I built that section, which is in the way, before I built that section. I'm not making that mistake. With the AA guns, however. So, I'll wrap this up because this is getting a bit long. Um, 12 minutes and 7 seconds. Right. Well, stay safe, everyone. Keep warm because it's bloody cold out there. And, well, till the next one, which will hopefully be next week when I can go through what I think is something rather quite special I've got that's just arrived today into my local shop that's being picked up this time next week so right. well thank you for watching if you've made it this far through my rather droney voice getting on and getting on for 13 minutes now so yep Still don't know how to do an outro. I shall see you all in the next one.